Yeah, I have two we're live. Yeah, hey, we're live. Hi. I think, um, are we live? Yes. Oh, we are. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joanne McDonough, and this is Amanda. Hello. And Amanda is my bride today, right? <laughs> so, sure I again, I'm Joanne McDonough. I'm um, a freelance makeup artist and a skincare therapist, and I am actually based in, and lived all my whole life in New Hampshire on the seacoast. So, you might wonder, what is a girl from New Hampshire doing in New York City, <laughs> doing Tempt Do Live Facebook, right? Are you wondering that? Yes. Say yes, Amanda. <laughs> um, I came in because on Sunday, I had a real Joy of Beauty bride who lives in Manhattan, up on the um, um, Upper West Side. And because she's getting married in Vermont, and I'm in New Hampshire, I came into New York to do her makeup consult for her wedding. Lovely. So I said, this is easy, because I brought my Temp2 kit with me, and we, we went met in her apartment, and it was great. And then yesterday, I was with 15 makeup artists um, who are talented makeup artists, and we were talking about the business, and we were talking about the beauty of our industry, and Temp2 um, is one of the sponsors for that program. So Michael Benjamin came over and he brought a bunch of Temp2 Airs and some product and everybody was like, what are they doing to us? And when we did the hands-on, they actually got to touch the Temp2 Air, many of them for the first time, mm -hmm. and the product, and we raffled off a Temp2 Air. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. But many of them, either they hadn't airbrushed before or they had airbrushed with a traditional gum. And, you know, we all just put it aside because we don't like to clean the gun, right? So when they got this in their hands, they were like, what is, what, what, what? And, and then it was a game changer. They were just amazed. Yeah. So it was a wonderful experience and so generous of Temp2 to come over and bring us product and Temp2 airs and, you know, now one of them went home with it and, She's throwing away everything else. It's great. <laughs> it's just yeah, great. I love it. So, what I wanted to share with you today is how um, I do weddings fifty to sixty times a year. That's my by myself. Mm -hmm. um, so, I wanted to show you how Temp Two changed my life because I used to bring in a kit oh, that was like I brought my whole studio with me because what if what if what if. And then I started with getting my hands into the Temp2 product. Mm -hmm. And the perfect canvas was just, I, I just can't even tell you how different it is for you. And yesterday, what I was sharing with them is how I use the Temp2 product. And, and they were like, well, wait a minute, this says it's a blush, and this says it's a contour, and this says it's a bronzer. And I said, yeah, but what if you put it on a lip? And what if you did this? And what if you did that? And they mm -hmm. were just like, their heads were spinning around you know, yeah. because the colors are so beautiful. So I know that, you know, we're getting you ready for your wedding. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to show you a little bit how I, how I manage my Temp2 products and how I um, introduce them. Because we, we go in to do makeup for a wedding and we're pros. Mm -hmm. And that's what the, the bride and her bridesmaids, they all want a pro doing their makeup, you Absolutely. know? So this sets us apart from you know, just taking palettes and, and putting them on. So right. when I go in, I have this palette that's about mm, 15 years old. But it's nice because it's a well. Mm -hmm. Can you see this? Yeah. yeah. So it's the little wells because what I'm using is predominantly liquids. So if I'm using my liquids as, as like blush or lips or anything, I might put a few drops into this. The other thing I, I also pared down my kit, and I only carry the Temp2 primer as my prep. Um, there are many wonderful brands out there, I'm sure, but this one I got to I got rid of everything else in my kit. I love it. I love it. It's great for all skin types. It's wonderful for a more mature skin. So the mothers mm -hmm. and the mothers of the brides and the grooms and the grandmothers. Mm -hmm. It sort of fills in any of the fine lines and diffuses things. And then I use the mixing medium mm -hmm. when I'm trying to shear down. Like say maybe I have to use a traditional product. And many of us use the um, Kevin O'Quan. Um, and you shear this down and you can use it as concealer. 
right? Mm -hmm. So I shear it down now with the mixing medium because it's thinner. It's a good tip. Yeah, it's thinner. And it does great for underneath the eye because it's not thick mm -hmm. and you don't get all that creasing. creasing yeah. It's fabulous. So in the primer, you can also use if you need a thicker um, product to shear something down. But I also put that in like these little wells mm -hmm. as well. So this is um, a great um, palette to carry as well as your flat one. Um, this setting powder, which mm -hmm. you don't have to do a lot of setting because the perfect canvas is self-setting. And I don't want this area here where I'm gonna make you look all um, dewy and luminous. I don't want to, to deaden that. So that's gonna stay pretty luminous. So my kit, I don't know if you can see this. So this is the kit. Can you see this? Yes. Um, so, there you go. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> so I have my pods, which I like to use um, because they're fast and they're such a great color range that I, you know, I can really get through because I have to do nine to ten bridesmaids and a couple of moms. Yeah. So I've got to be fast. Mm -hmm. And then I have some of the pro pods that are empty. I have them labeled. As you can tell, I'm a little crazy with my label gun. <laughs> um, it's got to be fast, you know? Yeah. So I have my Pro Pods and they're labeled shimmer, matte, um, contour, you know, darker colors. And then I have over here, I have my um, bronzers. I have a Heatherstone in a pod. I've got um, my color correctors. My favorite color correctors are the yellow and the melon and the light peach. Those are the ones I use mm -hmm. most. And then I have my bronzing, uh, my blushing pods as well. And the champagne highlighter is the one I use the most. But the one product I'm going to tease you with, because um, I, I think I'm one of the few people that have it. It's called Skin Perfector. Or it might be called Brilliant Glow. Brilliant. You guys haven't, mm -hmm. you, Michael said you haven't named it, named it yet. <laughs> but it's not out there yet. <laughs> Only I have this. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's top secret. But when you have someone who, like me, for example, where I, d I want that luminous, I want that luminous glow, but I don't want that harsh um, stripe of, of highlighter. Mm -hmm. This is perfect. It's yeah. just enough, you know, so that it gives you that soft, you know, soft highlighter. Um, the other really nice thing I do with this is I might add a drop or two into a foundation so mm -hmm. that um, when, I'm, when I'm custom blending, I add it into the foundation, and then it, it, it just, if you have a really dry skin, it just lifts mm -hmm. everything. It's moisturizing. Very moisturizing. The beautiful thing about Perfect Canvas, I'll switch to my skincare hat for a minute, it has hyaluronic acid in it. Mm -hmm. And when, yes. you, when you add that to the skin, it's like watering a plant. You know, all of a sudden, everything sort of plumps up, right. you know, mm -hmm. and you look younger. Sure and mm -hmm. why not, you know, why not look younger? <laughs> I have a tendency to carry my products both in pod and I have one of these. Can you see that? <laughs> um, I have one of these and I have my color correctors in liquid form. I have white. I've got um, Tiger's Eye, Heatherstone, and um, Sandstone. You're in the wrong place. And then <laughs> I've got my favorite... Um, Sunset Glow, Rosy Glow. Um, I've got a couple of the Air Root um, products in here because I use that to tint eyelashes. If you have someone who's a platinum blonde right. or has really blonde, blonde roots, mm -hmm. I tint their lashes okay. so that I don't have to go in so harsh with mascara oh, or cool. tight lining to get them. Mm -hmm. You know, like if, if you have a bride who wants to have just that no makeup, makeup look. Mm -hmm. Um, they're not accustomed to wearing eyeliner, you know. I can tint the roots of their lashes so mm -hmm. that they don't look like they have anything on. That's a great idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the Dahlia. Is this, is this available yet? Yes. yes. You have to have this. <laughs> you have to have this. It's one of my favorites. I, um, I just love it. It's that peachy, you know, not peachy pinky, mm -hmm. you know, with some, with some gold fleck in it, and it's just beautiful, and it also looks great on your lip. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. pretty. So I also have another one of these little boxes, which I don't think you can find anymore. Um, I haven't seen it for a long, long time. But I have all the shades of Perfect Canvas, 1 through 18, mm -hmm. in these small bottles. 
because sometimes you have to custom blend. Right. And um, I, you know, I don't want to carry like 18 pods with me. So I custom blend with my, um, with the small bottles. Um, let's see, I also at home have bottles like this, or the bigger bottles of the um, foundation shades. Because um, if it's not the wedding or, or even, you know, I, I do a lot of custom blending. On my own face, I use the ivory and I cut it with a little lavender. Okay. Yeah, so easy to just airbrush your own face. Yeah. So I do that a lot too. I teach brides who are going on destination weddings that aren't going to hire a makeup artist to go with them. Mm -hmm. they, they're comfortable enough doing some makeup on their own, but they don't want a lot of makeup, so I teach them how to do their own makeup for their wedding. Yeah. Someday they're going to fly me with them. <laughs> you think? Yeah. I'm, this is a commercial. I want to be flown somewhere to do a wedding. <laughs> so I have a passport. <laughs> um, and I fly. Huh? <laughs> Amanda, are you going to get married someplace um, um, exotic? I hope so. <laughs> so, now, when I'm looking at Amanda, all right, first, do you have anything on your skin? No? Uh, just moisturizing. Do you have any um, allergies or anything like that? Have you worried about I do not. So, one thing I need to also remember to tell you is that you can apply your temp to products with a brush. So, mm -hmm. I find that women who are not accustomed to having their makeup done, I mean, I was going to makeup counters when I was old enough to go to make, you know, like buy my own makeup. I was a teenager. Yeah. I see a lot of professional women now that they've never had their makeup professionally done. So they might not like the feel of the air in their mm -hmm. eye. So I will apply it with a brush. Around the eyes. Around the eyes. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about br the brushes that we have now is these dual fibers. The dual fiber brushes are perfect because they don't create um, brush strokes marks, mm, you know? Yeah. Um, this one is the, my latest favorite. Um, it's soft. It's really soft. Oh, is that Isn't that nice? It's very nice. So um, it's all part of the experience, the tactile experience of putting on makeup. So I am going to do a little primer because I want your skin to be just like not that it isn't, but, mm -hmm. um, And also, because we're talking about bridal, um, this makeup, I might be putting this makeup on you in, at, um, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning, and your last dance is somewhere around 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. So it has to be um, durable. Needs to last. Needs to last. So I find that this, being able to do this in thin, even layers mm -hmm. is perfect because it's not going to melt off. Um, where I live on the seacoast, I'm, I'm all over New England, but um, generally I'm on the seacoast and it's humid in the summer. So it doesn't sweat off, it doesn't, you know, um, when they're dancing or maybe they're a little stressed. Mm -hmm. um, it just wears beautiful, and I find that it wears, and the, and the more it's on the skin, it becomes skinlike. Right. It's like your skin, mm -hmm. you know, so that when the groom is this close to her, he's not seeing he's makeup, mm -hmm. you know, which they just don't want to see anymore. <laughs> they don't want to see it. I had one groom, I was standing at the back of the church, and they didn't do a first look. She was walking up the aisle towards him, and he had a mic on, and he just went, have you got false eyelashes on? And I'm like, oh no, and he had told church her to do it. Yeah. Oh so, before I start doing your eyes, um, sometimes, you know, I, I like doing eyes first. I, I don't, I don't want to have to clean the fallout or get the fallout mixed into the makeup, mm -hmm. so I like doing eyes first. But I also tend to color correct first because mm -hmm. I want I don't want you to be distracted by um, you know if you have like if you're a lot of brides flush you mm -hmm. know so if I take out that flush then they can they're not distracted by it and they can see their eye makeup better yeah. so I love the yellow I go through pods of this is that the yellow corrector this is the yellow corrector and I also have it in. Um, the bottle too because I might want to go onto her eyelid which sometimes can be a little red 
too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes brides cry, so they get a little red. So this will take out that. Or I can use it underneath her eyes to color correct underneath her eyes. And again, because even though this is on setting one, she may not like this air in her eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's moving her eye left. <laughs> so I'm going to just take out, now you can breathe. That's another question I get asked. Can I breathe? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So close your eyes gently. Just go to your happy place. And I'm going to just knock out a little bit of this redness. Because maybe Amanda had some cocktails last night <laughs> for rehearsal dinner. Um, she didn't get a lot of sleep. So we're just making her skin just a little less red. It also helps me because I'm not distracted either by it and I can focus more on what I'm doing with her eyes. So there. So now I'm going to demonstrate to you about the, the um, because you have your air, um, the three shades that are eyeshadows, mm -hmm. which we also use as, as contours, and we also use as bronzers. Tiger's Eye makes a beautiful bronzer. Heatherstone makes a really nice contour because it's that gray mm -hmm. shade. It's really pretty. I used Heatherstone on my bride on um, Sunday because her groom mm -hmm. does not want to see. Um, He's like very, you know, it's not that he's against makeup or anything, but he doesn't want to see a lot of it. Right. He's not accustomed to seeing it. And that's more common, you know, than you would imagine. Yeah. You know, I recommend bringing something sharp because sometimes you have to poke the little uh, metal ball out of the tube because I store them upside down. Okay. So this, of course, is my, what is this, Amanda? Do you know what it's um, really used for? It's a lobster pickup. I don't forget, I'm from New Hampshire, I'm from Maine, New Hampshire, you know. It's very so, fitting. <laughs> it's a lobster pickup. And um, it's perfect though because it fits down inside. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to use this instead of having to use a primer on your lids and, 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 because we have so little time, mm -hmm. you know. You know, there was a time back when I first started doing makeup and for weddings is that they expected to be all day all day doing makeup and hair and everything. Now, not so much. Mm -hmm. Close gently for her. And I'm just gonna give her a wash, a nice wash of color. Come up into her um, crease, do some contouring with this. Is that the Heather Stone? This is not, this is the Tiger's Eye. Okay. She likes the Tiger's Eye because it's gonna make her brown eyes just so soft and pretty but you know what we are going to do we are going to use the heather stone as a contour for her eye because when you do that combination of warm and cool um on the eye it it vibrates it it's a contrast and, and it just like mm. takes your makeup to that next level um one of my earlier mentors said to me you take a woman to her comfort level and then one step beyond. Mm -hmm. So we can achieve a lot with just combinations of color. It doesn't have to be more and more and more. Like when I tried contouring her eye with a powder, like a traditional powder eyeshadow, to her it looked like makeup. And, and she was like, it's too much. You know, he's not gonna like it, it's too much. Whereas using a product like this, I mean, can you see, can you tell how sheer that is? But you can see that she has her, you know, something on her eye. It's, it's, it's her, but elevated, mm -hmm. right? Enhancing. And enhancing, <laughs> yes. Because, you know, she's going to have, you're going to have a beautiful wedding gown on that day, and jewelry, and your hair's going to be done. So now I'm using the Heather Stone. Oh, I need my lips back up. So, now we're going to do a little bit of contouring with this. See how sheer that is? So pretty. And I still don't have anything on her skin. It's just enough 
to give her, like the center of eye is going to look lighter, warmer. This is going to contour the outer corners. And when it dries, so durable. <laughs> you're not going to get that creasing, you know, that you're going to get with a thicker product. You can also combine these with your traditional products. I mean, you can still use your favorite um, eyeshadow palette. You can still use your creams. If I'm going to use a cream because I want a shimmer, then um, I'm going to do that first. I'm going to do the cream first, and then I'm going to go over it. So you can see that, you know, she's got something going on in this crease, right? But you really have to go, hmm, is that just her natural creasing? Does she just have that, that shape eye? Or is this really makeup? Um, someone asked, what do you do with the brows that have extra beach fuzz on the face when airbrushing and shows? I blend it in with my brush. Okay. I take my nice soft dome brush <laughs> F, um, and then I blend it in mm -hmm. because I'm still going to get that airbrush effect. Does that make sense? Blend, blend, blend. And then it takes it, it nicks it off of the Dallas hair. You know? Do you find that the primer helps too? The primer helps too, yeah, to, to mat it down. And I, you know, and I'm also going in a downward motion mm -hmm. too. Um, putting a lot of product on any product is going to make the girl's hair stand out, but mm -hmm. I find, and look, and this is dry on my hand, and I have to do this to move it. So that's how durable this is. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. So, our Amanda. <laughs> I know. And right now she's like dreaming about her groom and she's like, oh my god, I haven't written my vows yet. You know how often I do that. I'm like, you are going to be married in an hour and you haven't written your vows? I haven't. I haven't written them yet. You haven't written your vows? <laughs> Not yet. Well, you have an hour, so. Are you getting married, really? No. <laughs> I'm not. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> well, here's another commercial. This is Amanda. Um, <laughs> single. She's single. single. Um, yeah. This is better than match. <laughs> I'm making you look, you know, like you're putting your makeup on. Right. Um, so everyone gets to see you. So I'm going to use the sandstone now. These, again, are all three of these come in a pod. Am I lying? Yes. No, they come in a pod. And um, this is the sandstone that I'm using as her highlighter. Because I'm this eye already is all matte. This is just a, a really matte eye. Um, very, very, very soft. Blended um, many times, pretty much all the time. I am retained, my services are retained to stay through ceremony. So we might do a really soft, soft, soft look for ceremony and pre-ceremony pictures. Mm -hmm. And then after the ceremony, we go hide somewhere and, um, and I bump up her look and take it up to party, you know, like a reception. Mm -hmm. So that when you walk into your reception, you're like, there I am, right. you know. It's more dramatic. It's more dramatic. Mm -hmm. Usually the light is lower, you know, it's more diffused. Right. It's you know, it's more of that, mm -hmm. you know, and by then you're married, the groom can't say it, I don't like your makeup, <laughs> you know, um, it's all about that. So now, let's see, you have those beautiful lashes, so we're not going to need to put lashes on. Um, before I go under your eye and do mm -hmm. any of that, I'm going to go back to your skin. Okay. How's that sound? Sounds that good. sounds like a plan. <laughs> So, Amanda, um, the trend this year is to do soft, like a soft contour, mm -hmm. which this is perfect for. And I do like to contour under um, the foundation because then when I go over the foundation, I'm priming this. This great looks like a brand new one. I might find it turning yeah, into my skin. <laughs> is it a wand spot? This is um, Heather Stone. Mm -hmm. See, it's got that gray kind of a look to it. You know, it's got that, that taupey gray look. Mm -hmm. I like that for contour. Um, 
So I'm just giving her just a soft contour. Um, and because I'm doing it under her foundation, I'm not worried that it's going to be, you know, harsh. Blend it out. You can also use a brush, what you know. Is this? this is the Heather Stone. So you've got, you've got a little bit more of an editorial edge to this contouring. Um, some people you're going to need to contour their nose. You don't need contouring. Then close your eyes. I'm going to show you, it's on setting one. I'm going to show you, you can take this and you can deepen this, this crease. Now can you leave your eye closed for me so this mm -hmm. can dry? So when I put it on from the pod, it's a little stronger than when I used the brush. <clears throat> Okay, so then we have her contour. I like doing my highlighter though after, after foundation. And I, it, you know, and it could be, um, you have to take into consideration the, the person, the skin tone, the shape of the face and everything. But this is Amanda's um, color. This is bisque. Mm -hmm. And if you're trying to color match someone, um, I, I typically go down here and go, you know, is this going to go on this neck? Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm, I'm color matching to that. So I took it up to the second speed. Test it out on my hand always. And then I'm just telling her, just relax. You can breathe. And I'm just going to start with my first pass. I like doing sweeping motions on the cheek. I'm going to cover her lashes because she's got extensions. Not that you would, you know, the lashes are just naturally like that, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. So if you're new to airbrushing, um, you just have to work on your aim. You know, practice your aim. Um, if you let go of the trigger and you go like this close to the face, you can see the skin moving. You know that's where the product is going to hit. If she already has her jewelry on, you might want to mask, you know, shield that. And I have, you know, basically two passes. Um, She'd look in the mirror, she would say, hmm, maybe I want a little more coverage today. Especially for her photos. And she's already asleep because I've hypnotized her with some aromatherapy. <laughs> it's all part of my mojo. There we go. So I'm not looking at the product coming out, I'm looking at her skin, mm -hmm. right? Because I want to see the change in her skin. I don't, I don't care what's, you know, what I see coming out of this. I, I care how, what the finished look is on the skin. There. So we can always go back and add more. Adding more is easy. You can always build. This is a very buildable product. Mm -hmm. um, I always start light and I build. Because mm -hmm. it all depends on the light of the day, what's the season, what's the time, you know, what time you're being photographed, okay. all of that. So, lots of variables. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of variables. Now, I'm going to use a pencil um, for your liner. Mm -hmm. We have a question. Yes. So Denise uh, is asking, so color match to the neck even if it's quite a bit lighter than the face? Well, it's got to be somewhere in between, yeah. you know, because you don't want to her to look ghostly. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I go somewhere in between this and this, okay. you know. Um, and if it's quite a bit darker, you might want to color correct. Um, I find the melon to be great on darker face, the darker skin, because mm -hmm. it lightens mm -hmm. and it lifts, right. right? So you can, 
either line with your, um, I hope that answered Denise's question. Mm -hmm. Um, you can line with your traditional liners, you can use the brush and a gel liner. Um, you could also line with the Airroot product. Mm -hmm. The brown black makes a beautiful liner on someone who's very, very blonde. Mm -hmm. Right? Close gently for me, but I'm going to, you know, incorporate a little bit of uh, a metallic. Metallics are so big this year. Um, I'm put a little bit of metallic liner on there. Um, I don't know if you can see that shimmer, but um, I did want to, to bring it up a little bit with some shimmer. Um, and then you can take a brush and you can smudge it. You can make it smoky. Um, I might even take some of the air root product, like the darker shade, and you know, really give her, I could give her, like if I'm bumping this up for reception, I could bump it up with, the, with those darker shades. And, um, and take her into a, a dark, smoky eye. I've done that too. And that, that product is really durable. Because mm. it's meant, of course, potentially to um, maybe use on the roots of your hair or the roots of your eyelashes or your brows. The air brow. I keep saying air root. It's air brow. Air brow. It's air brow. Mm -hmm. um, so that really isn't going to budge. Mm -hmm. You know? So if you look straight up in front of me, there you go, a little, a little hit. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of a liner here. Again, this is her pre-ceremony, um, ceremony kind of a look. Not to, you know, cause say she's being photographed at noon. You know, we have to be a little bit careful about going too smoky at noon, cause your, fo your eye will photograph black, right. you know. And again, what's your pretend groom's name? When you get married, what are you, what are you looking for? <laughs> um, Jack. Mike. Jack sounds good. Jack's a good name. <laughs> um, Jack <laughs> is looking at you in bright sun. Right? So, Jack might not like a lot of makeup. My guy is Steven. Okay. Yeah, and Stephen had to get used to makeup and hair color really early in our relationship <laughs> if he was going to be married to me. We were just talking about that. I had hair longer than yours, and the night before the wedding I cut it off to this. Really? Yeah. So I was like, if you're going to get hung up on this, it's going to be a problem. Because <laughs> it was a test. <laughs> you know, it was a test. <laughs> It was a test, and he passed. Wow. With flying so colors. <laughs> Go Steve. Saint Steve. We call him Saint Steve. That's even better. Can you imagine 37 years with me? <laughs> yeah. Saint Steve. And I was watching, because um, he's back in New Hampshire with the Chihuahua. Aww. So, so you can see we're starting, you can see, look at her eyes, mm -hmm. starting to, you know, to really take some shape. And um, now, I'm like, I'm on a fence. Mm -hmm. Say I'm on a fence. Because there's no color here, mm -hmm. right? So I'm going to put some lip on you mm -hmm. so that I can start balancing. Because okay. I want to balance your cheek to your eye. And if you've said to me, if you said to me, I want a really neutral eye for my ceremony, but then I'm going to bump it up, then I might start with just this really neutral eye and give you a nice lip because mm -hmm. um, Jack is used to you in lip. Right. Yeah, Jack loves when I have Jack lips. loves a lip. <laughs> but look, Jack, this is pink. This is a really pink, pretty pink. Mm -hmm. Blushed, wait, is this new? No. No? This is one of the, the yeah, colors? Yeah, one of the original. I'll tell you what my favorites are. My favorites are Plush Plum. It's a dark one. Passion, I know. Passion Store Oops. Can we have another question from Karen Stone? She yeah. says... She says, hi, I'm upgrading my airbrush system. Which pro one do you like, the pot or the regular stylus? Or do you have both in your kit? I carry the, the Temp2 Air with pods and bottles. Okay. I don't have the regular stylus. Right now, I just had this discussion with Michael Benjamin. The only reason I would carry a regular stylus for, um, gun is for body work when I'm covering tattoos. Mm -hmm. But he told me that I can run Dura mm -hmm. through the pro pod. So I'm not going to have to lug that separate 
unit and stylus with me. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bring my um, a, a little bag of Dura, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna um, have a couple of the Pro Pods with for the different colors to neutralize the tattoo or the, or the whatever, and then the skin shades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. This is the um, this is the cat, uh, cranberry cashmere. That's also very bridal, especially on a darker skin. Love that one. Actually, my Saturday bride is wearing that because she doesn't care what he said about looks. <laughs> this one is a, a favorite. This is the rose velveteen. Mm -hmm. Coco says, looking really gorgeous with the eyes done. <gasps> More gorgeous. <laughs> More gorgeous. This is plush plum. Look at that. So I might go here for ceremony, mm -hmm. and I might go here for reception. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And then put a little gloss over it, and we are cooking. Um, passion sorbet. Brighter. And th this formula is all very velvety. Very, very current. Um, I'm hunting, and maybe you have one, and I haven't seen it yet, to go with the Dahlia. This is one that I found that's more of the Dahlia shade. Looks really nice with the Dahlia blush. Pretty. So maybe you have one already. I haven't been in since December, so when we're done here, I'm going to have to shop. Amanda, look in the camera. Somebody wants to get a close up. <laughs> So we're going to put some color on her lips. I have also used my product with a beauty blender. Um, I find that with my brushes, mm -hmm. with, my, with those domed blending brushes, I don't need it. I, I don't even know when the time, last time. I think probably when I'm using a traditional foundation, and let's go there. Mm -hmm. If I have to use a traditional foundation for whatever reason, mm -hmm. maybe the client likes it. You know, they, they right. like it. They like the feel of it or something. It, it, it's, a, it's more their comfort level. I will always go over their face with an airbrush mm -hmm. just to finish it right. and to make it look like that digital, beautiful mm -hmm. face without looking like, you know, like she has a little makeup on. Right. So I end, I end with, with my airbrush. The other thing I use my airbrush for is I take a Pro Pod and I put rose water toner in it. So when I've primed and everything, mm -hmm. I'm, I'll go over, like I'll spritz her with a rose water primer. But again, remember, yes, we're in an air-conditioned room nine-tenths of the time, but mm -hmm. when she's outside, it's hot, you know, and maybe she's getting, you know, mm -hmm. nervous or something. So that's very helpful, too. Mm -hmm. I've also used it with a Pro Pod empty and no pressing of the trigger mm -hmm. with just air to dry lashes. You know, if, I, if, if I'm drying something, right. it's just like that. Denise what? says, simple yet beautiful and so quick. Very quick. And I'm talking through this. I can, I, <laughs> I, did a, um, I did a charity event in Boston a few weeks ago. Um, they didn't get me any details about this charity event until the very, very end. And they said, oh, by the way, you have 25 people. And I went, I'm alone. I have 25 people and I have two hours. So, she said that Denise also said that soft contour under the foundation is great. Yep. So subtle. So subtle. You know, you don't. You know, you don't have to worry about going like this mm -hmm. and having Jack go, "Hey, I need the dirt on your face." Oh, Jack. Yeah, Jack. <laughs> because trust me, Stephen has done that. Like, he'll come up and go, "You got dirt on your face, honey." <laughs> really? You're like, no, that's my contour. That's my contour. <laughs> Don't touch it. Um, you also have, don't forget the color correctors. They're um, all the shades, which I have them all. I have the yellow. I have the green. I have the caramel, the peach, salmon, and light peach. Those are my favorites. Um, I have sunset glow, a favorite. Rosy glow is a favorite. And there's my champagne. Now, I have the champagne, again, the reason I have it in my pod so that I can use it on her face. Mm -hmm. But if I'm going to go in and do the little corner of the eye, I'm, gonna, I'm typically going to use the liquid. Right, with a little brush. With a little brush, because getting the, getting the air in there, mm -hmm. 
you know, they're just not used to it. They're not like a professional no. model like you, you know. <laughs> you are, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm going to do something else because I do like the matte look, yes, but... So I'm going to ask, will you use a powder? I use a powder typically in the T-zone, but you don't need to set this. This is self-setting. Mm -hmm. This dry, like this is dried without any powder, and you, look, there's no creasing. Close one time. There's no creasing. You don't, you don't need to. One less step. So here's the champagne right in the center. Just a little bit. Or you can use the rose glow. You can use any of the colors. You can use the blush. Oh, I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Let's put a little Dahlia okay. in this. <laughs> because with your brown eye, this Dahlia is going to be stunning. Actually, here's the other thing. I just met Amanda like a half hour ago. It's not like we practiced this. <laughs> not that you no can practice. tell. We didn't practice. So, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I use the Dahlia as an eyeshadow. The Dahlia, even on me, as fair as I am, the Dahlia is beautiful eyeshadow. Makes my blue eyes look crazy. Crazy blue. Too bad we don't have, you can't see yourself. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to show you, even though I'm going to use a different color, I put a little, maybe a little Dahlia on her lip, just so that I can get a point of reference. So you can see the shade. It's really pretty. Did I already ask this? Does the Dahlia come in a pod? It's, yes, it does. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to get that. <laughs> um, okay, I also carry a matte um, palette of shadows, just in case, you know, I need that. Mm -hmm. um, Let's do your lip, which oh, is the pink. Let's do it. The blush, blush three. Blush three. So this is, is this your lipstick? Or I, I think it's a new one. So I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> Oops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops, I have to give you this lip now because we're Okay. Hey, we're back. A little, just a little, you know, networking thing. So, finishing touches. Now I'm looking at concealing. So, I just used the light peach. This is just the light peach. The light peach corrector. The light peach corrector, right here. This much light peach corrector took out all of that under eye. And then, um, I'm going to go back with her bisque, and I'm going to go over that. And that's all I need to do. If I needed really a lot more corrector, then I might do, um, you know, my Kevin O'Quan cream, you know, and, and shear that down. But she doesn't need it because this light peach knocked out, it knocked out all that color. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing. All my dark circles. Well, you need to get to bed, girl. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, but you know, rehearsal dinners, they go into the night, they're eating, they're drinking more than they normally do. Um, it's just a fact of life, you know. Open a little, is that, can I do this? Sure. So now I'm taking her bisque. Again, you can see why on someone who's not accustomed to this, you might want to use the, um, the liquid with a brush. There you go. Now, Typically, I would do her brows, but we're running a little short on time. But I would, I would do her brows with, um, um, if you're not comfortable using the airbrush, you would just get comfortable with it over time. But Temp 2 has these beautiful stencils. You can take the stencil and you move it um, with the brow and you can just do the airbrow product, which makes it really beautiful. And then you can just take a spoolie and brush through it. 
Um, you can use your traditional brow powders if you're more comfortable with that and the stencils. The other stencil that I love and that I hoard and no one can touch is the freeform stencil. This is this does everything for me. This this take you know you can do your brow with it, but also mm -hmm. if you're if you're you know pretty new to um, doing a cat eye, you can use it as a template. It's a little more professional than using you know something like a you know business card or something that I've seen or tape. Oh, taping the face. Yeah, <laughs> do this instead, and then use use it for your little cat eye. So that, and then we need a blush. What do you like for blush? Oh, you like rose gold for a highlighter. Mm, Ooh, rose gold. Rose gold. Rose gold. <laughs> Pretty. Um, I actually have that one at home too. It's great on, on a darker skin too. And this is on setting one. Nice. Instead of highlighting with champagne, we're highlighting with rose gold. Inner corner. Maybe on the eye, we're deepening that dahlia with the rose gold. Because again, see, see how you can build this? Because mm -hmm. now we're going into some color. Right. So we might be going into reception for some ladies. Mm -hmm. This might very well be their wedding look, but if they're more comfortable with a with a neutral look and then they want just the, to heighten it, mm -hmm. you'd heighten it with these with more color. And again, I haven't touched you with a traditional powder. Right. Right? No powder. Um, mascara, lashes, brows, and then um, the other thing you can do with your Pro Pod is you can take a setting spray. Mm -hmm. Like um, any of the setting sprays, I seal, aqua seal, um, Scandinavia, you can take any of those and you can mist the face mm -hmm. with it as well. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. Sometimes as a gift, I might give them a little one so that during the course of the evening they do that as well. Right, right. Part of their, um, part of their like, um, touch-up kit. Okay. Isn't that? Okay. To be a joy to bride. <laughs> so I hope this has been informative for you. If you have questions, um, you can put them in the comments or send them to Tem2. And um, let's go get married. Can I come to the wedding? Of course. Can I come to the wedding? Can I be bridesmaid? I do. Yeah. I do. Are you saying yes to the face? Yes. You're saying yes I'm to the face. Do the cameras. I'll do the boy. And then turn your head so they can see that beautiful the highlight. Uh, highlight. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Bye. Thank you. Bye.